in this setup we have an IDAC HMI, an IDAC PUC, and an Allen Bradley Ethernet switch. For the HMI, the type or model number is HG2J-7UT22TF-B. For the PUC, the type or model number is FC68-C24R1CE. Both HMI and PUC are connected to the same Ethernet switch with the two Ethernet CAT5 cables. In this video, we will learn how to set up the HMI application to allow a computer that is connected to the common Ethernet switch to control the HMI remotely. The very first requirement that we need to comply with is to ensure our devices are on the same network. For the PUC, the IP address is 192.168.0.90. For the HMI, the IP address is 192.168.0.100. Let's connect the computer to this common Ethernet switch. On the computer, first open control panel then go to network and internet network and sharing center then go to ethernet for local network properties open TCP IPv4 and set the IP address to 192.168.0.11 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 ok, close so we have everything is on the same network now. Next, let's open the IDEC HMI application. ESA HMI 2023.pn4 Okay. In the HMI application, go to configuration and go to project. Then go to web server. Then under remote control and monitoring, select this enable remote control and monitor. Okay, now let's download it to the HMI. Go to online, download. Okay. This is the HMI IP address 192.168.0.100. Download. Yes. Okay. Close. Now we can remotely control the HMI 
via the Ethernet Cafe cable connected between the computer and the PC HMI network. The computer with the white Ethernet Cat5 cable, the HMI, and the PLC with the blue Ethernet cables all are connected to the same common Ethernet switch. To do it, let's open a web browser. Type in the HMI IP address 192.168.0.100 Enter The default username will be user with a capital U and there is no password sign in For remote access, we have two options. Monitor. If this is selected, we can only see statuses and reading on the HMI. We cannot even go to different screens. However, if we select the other option for control, We now can go to a different screen on the HMI. System info. System settings. We can also change the settings on the HMI. Login. If I use my mouse to do something on the computer, the changes are also reflected on the actual HMI. And if I do something on the actual HMI, you will also see the changes on the computer. That will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. A little bonus for this video is to use this gateway, Sekamia Sign Manager, to eliminate the Y cable to provide a truly remote control for the HMI. Let's connect the Y cable to one of the dev ports on the gateway.
with the gateway connected to the local Wi-Fi network for internet access. Now we can remotely control the HMI from anywhere with internet connection on the computer. There is no cable connected to my computer right now. And my computer is currently connected to my phone personal hotspot for internet connection. And if I do something on the computer, you will see the changes on the actual HMI also. And to set up the Sekamia site manager, it will be another video. If this video is helpful and you like the content of my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Except thanks at the lower right corner is a great way to show your support to my channel. Thank you.